Hi guys. This video is actually about hacking your car, but what led me to the hacking the car was Michael Hastings accident in Hollywood. Um, where anything can happen. But I'm I'm on the line here with whatever happened to him. Some people say he was murdered. Other people say this was a psyop. Other people say he faked his death. This is what I only know and, and what I saw from the, the videos that were put out. I saw the guys with the yarmulkes on um, standing with a policeman with a hose in their hand um, trying to put out a flame. I mean, yeah, big fire. I mean, big, big flames. But not really a sense of urgency in trying to remove a body or even a corpse, which, you know, usually people kind of panic and um, maybe they thought the car was going to blow up, but they're, you know, I don't know. It just seemed like a very spectacular fire. And where was the ambulances and the fire trucks? The first responders all had yarmulkes on them and they all used water hoses. I just, and the police was there. I, I, you know, where are the fire trucks? Where was an ambulance? So that, that's just some red flags and the big, big, big fire and Hollywood and his age and the time it happened, all kind of Hollywoodish. So um, I don't know what happened. So I'll leave it out there and you can leave your comments below. What I want to talk about is this PDF that I just read, the University of Washington and the University of California, San Diego have been uh, investigating on hacking cars. And there's a, these a, a, electronic control units that were put in the cars um, in the 1970s. And, um, and since then, they've been coupling them into where now they can control your car. So this is what I thought. You read the PDF and see what they say on how they can control your car. But this is what I was thinking, because we live in, I live in a terrible state, it's called a no to, uh, tolerance state. The Washington State Patrol has no tolerance if you're speeding. And if you're going two miles over the speed limit, they'll, they'll give you a ticket. And, um, and their motto is service with humility, and they like to humiliate people as much as possible. And if you go in front of a judge, you're always found guilty. And I've never seen anyone found innocent. And, and yes, everybody I know around here has been pulled over by them. It, it's, it's terrible. They're just revenue generators. So, yes, they like to humiliate the public very much. Um, but the next time I think that we get pulled over for going one mile or two miles over the speed limit, I'm going to take this PDF in there and blame it on the NSA or the FBI or the CAA or one of their alphabet agencies, since we now know they can hack our cars and control the foot, you know, the gas pedal and the brake pedal and stuff, and maybe turn this around on them, because this technology could be used to help humanity, but instead it seems like it's just enslaving us more and more, now that they can control our cars and listen to us, like the cell phone. If you have a cell phone, throw it away. It's, I always thought it was just a device to spy on you. And, and I, myself, don't have one. No. So, anyway, I love you guys. I want you to read the PDF if you're interested. It's very interesting how they, you know, the tests they did. And, and there's probably some things they're not telling us, too, in the PDF. But I love you all, and I hope you're having a good day. And um, I am. If the rains would go away, it'd be really nice. Um, but that's okay. We need rain, too. Um, not chemical rain, though. But I love you all, and peace, love, and truth. And tell me how you feel about Michael Hastings and the PDF below, um, hacking the cars. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.